Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for this upcoming full moon that's occurring on June 14th, 2022. And so uh, what I want to do, I'm going to do things a little bit differently for these um, moon readings ongoing. Um, I'm going to take a look at the numerology and the energy forecast for the collective, which I highly recommend you listen to because it does, you know, we're all part of the collective. So it does, we are... um, privy to these energies, right? We may feel them. Uh, Have a listen to that. And then I'm going to break the energies down into each life path um, forecast so that you can kind of see based on your life path number, how these, um, how this illumination may, may affect you, how you may feel the energies, that sort of thing. Okay, so this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like to take a look at your own personal energies and numerology, please book some time with me. The link for it to be able to do that is in the description box below. Okay, so before I get into the numerology, I went ahead and pulled an animal spirit card for this illumination. And very much aligned with the numerology, we received chameleon spirit. And so chameleon spirits message is uh, all about adaption, camouflage. When you think about the chameleon, it moves sort of slowly and it's got his little eyes are kind of um, moving all around, just taking everything in, um, seeing what's, what's going on around it so that it knows how to adapt so that it knows how it needs to uh, integrate into the situation, um, how it's meant to experience the, the, you know, its environment. And so I think it's really important to mention that, uh, we do have a lot of five energy coming through in this, uh, at this full moon. And so change, adaption, um, transformation, all of that is going to be very potent. And so I think that as we move through this illumination, through this energy, which can be at about the span of a couple of weeks, this isn't an eclipse energy. So, um, probably a couple of weeks we'll feel it. Uh, just try to embody chameleon energy, right? Especially if it's a change or a transformation that feels uncomfortable or that is unexpected, just play like chameleon, take everything in, look around, you know, and then adapt as needed, right? There's going to be probably a lot of, um, need for surrender, a lot of, uh, need to go with the flow, that sort of thing. A lot of things that we need to release control over with this illumination. And so instead of fighting that, you just, I don't know, anytime I've ever seen a chameleon they're ju- they just seem so <laughs> relaxed and chill. Like they're just, taking it all in, going with the flow, doing their thing and adapting, right? And doing what they need to do. Okay, so looking at the numerology for the collective. So this full moon illumination emphasizes the vibrations of the five and the eight. So it's very possible that collectively we could see major shifts or transformations when it comes to power uh, and the balancing of power, shifts in resources and global financial infrastructures. So we may be asked now to be much more adaptable in how we spend money, how we make money and where we place value when it comes to our purchasing power. So again, the five is all about change, um, freedom, uh, freedom of expression. Um, this is a big, fast moving energy. So it's, it doesn't want to be tied down. It doesn't want to be restricted. It's, um, go big or go home kind of energy. And that coupled with the eight, which is a very material plane energy. It's very much, it's very tangible. It's very about, again, power, money, business, resources, um, power dynamics, philanthropy, all these things, as well as intuition, uh, and a spiritual connection as well. But really, I think this illumination is really going to bring into the forefront a lot around change adaptability when it comes to finances, resources, especially on a global stage. Um, so you may see again, uh, power play, right? Things, things going back and forth around power and, um, 
redistribution of power, uh, where there's injustices, putting, uh, bringing uh, justice to that situation. I could see that all kind of be playing out now. Supply and demand is a real force. And when we buy something needed or not needed, we're saying we want more of this, whatever it is. So we may need to get creative when it comes to finances and our purchasing power to perhaps send a different message. If we want to see some sort of a shift, right? So it doesn't make sense to get angry or frustrated at large corporations, if we are constantly showing uh, consistent support for them and how they conduct business, right? So by purchasing their products, we're saying, we like what you're doing and we want more of this. So we always have a choice and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be an easy choice, but we always have a choice. And many times there are smaller businesses who offer similar products and whose values may be in greater alignment with our own. And so it may be a little bit more pricey. It might take a little bit longer to receive. It might not have that instant gratification. Um, but there are options out there, right? And so we just need to <clears throat> take that power back and decide how we want to use that voice, right? Like how we want to use our buying power and then, and think about the message that we're sending when we make that purchase. Uh, a lot could come up now around, again, power, power struggles, reclaiming power, and not sinking into sort of victimization, meekness, or submissiveness uh, out of fear. Eight and five energy together ignite the desire for expansiveness and sort of ultimate freedom. So anything that's trying to impose overly rigid or oppressive restrictions now will likely be faced with some level of revolt, pushback, uproar, that sort of thing. Personally, you may find at this time that certain routines or uh, mundane ways of doing things begin to feel really sort of claustrophobic. So it would be very easy under this energy to sort of make big sweeping changes within your life. And I would say just, you know, try to keep your head about you as you, you know, as you move through this energy, because when it calms down and you're only left, you know, you're kind of left with nothing familiar at that point, because you made these big sweeping changes, you may be wishing that you would have left something standing, right? So again, chameleon spirit can come in at this time and just kind of, again, just take a look around, slow your roll a little bit and make sure that the things that you are releasing or getting rid of or breaking free from are things that are ready to be released um, and, and broken free from, right? Like, um, you don't just wake up one day and be like, I'm going to quit my job and because uh, I hate it here. And so you just quit your job and you've got nowhere else to go and um, not the best financial decision or whatever the case may be, right? So it's very easy under this five energy to really get swept up in it and just make very impulsive decisions that uh, when the energy sort of fades in a couple of weeks, you may be thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, right? I mean, the good news is, is that it's it's probably only going to be pretty potent for a week to two weeks. So <laughs> any big major changes that you make are probably going to be things that you can kind of um, backtrack on if you feel you need to. But I would say just really take everything, you know, just do an overview, make sure that what you're, you're, um, diving into or making changes for is, is what you want to be doing. Right. And what feels right for you for a long-term, uh, potential commitment. So it could also be very easy to overspend in this period or overindulge. So allow your senses to be delighted without being gorged. <laughs> and so trust me, you'll thank me later. You can absolutely 100% have your cake and eat it too. Just do so in moderation and you'll avoid getting a tummy ache. See what I'm saying? So be as flexible and adaptable as possible during this period. With five energy, change can be around every corner, and it may look different than what you had anticipated, especially when it comes to this eight energy of business, wealth, resources, and power. 
So go with the flow while also paying attention to what the situation is trying to highlight for you so that you can make any necessary changes or adjustments that feel good for you. With the coupling of the five and the eight energy for this illumination, think change, transformation, expansion, or restrictions. Remember, you've got the higher and the lower octaves of these energies. Moderation, enjoyment, Uh, you know, don't don't um, be so restrictive that you don't allow yourself to enjoy this energy. Five energy is a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. It can be very social, very big and expansive and joyful. And so allow yourself the enjoyment, right? And not, we don't always have to be so serious and sacred about things, right? So overindulgence, um, impulsivity are also possible. So again, moderation, moderation, moderation. Uh, freedom could come into the the forefront uh, when it comes to money, power, resources, uh, business, equity, um, the more tangible things in the physical plane. So you can make this energy work for you. It's all about perspective and driving your actions in the direction that you want to take them, right? Working with the energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the individual life path numbers. Life path number seven. So you all may see conversations surface around money, restrictions, power struggles, or similar, uh, similar dynamics to do with your home life. This can also come up around family, uh, friends, like extended family, um, friends, love interests, relationships in general. So colleagues, whatnot, but really around the home environment. So things could really bubble to the surface now um, that maybe you've been sweeping under the rug. Maybe you've been avoiding, uh, maybe you've been trying to sort of make go away because you're not looking at it type thing, but it's going to be coming up now to be looked at and to be dealt with. And really, I feel like it's going to be around some kind of personal freedom, some kind of uh, maybe finances, something like that power, um, a power struggle or something along those lines could very well come up at this time. Um, So if there's anybody who you feel has been really trying to overly influence, manipulate, or, um, you know, sort of assert themselves over you, this is going to be a time to really set some healthy boundaries to have those difficult conversations and to really assert yourself. And um, again, have that, those conversations. That's the big piece here. Um, but it does feel very much surfaced around home, family, friends, sort of your closer, uh, the closer, your closer circle, right? Um, you may find at this time that new relationships come in or relationships from the past that maybe had sparked, there was a spark of interest there, but timing was off. This could be a time where, um, things come back to the surface because we are working collectively with this five energy, which again is very much like fun and, uh, romantic energy and just joyful and all those things. Um, and for you all, there's just this big emphasis on home, right? So like the home life and, or you're like, community type thing. And so it's very possible that uh, a new relationship may surface for those of you who are looking for one. Uh, And even if you're not looking for one, sometimes they can surface, right? So keep your eye open for that. This is a beautiful time to mingle, to meet new people, to travel, um, any of those things. Although I do feel like for sevens, there's again, just this emphasis around home. So you may feel more drawn to home life at this time, staying at home, sort of, um, snuggling up and watching a good movie or something like that with family or whatever. Um, but again, just keep your eye on relationships because those can be coming in very strongly at this time. Again, there's a lot of joy associated with home life. So you may be celebrating maybe somebody's birthday or a wedding or something like that, or a birth of a child or something like that could be coming into view, coming into focus. Um, your love life could again be like sparked up and just take off. And so that's very possible as well. Um, travel for fun and romance is definitely encouraged at this time. Although again, I feel like it'll be maybe a, maybe travel like close to home, or if it's travel that's further away from your home environment, maybe it's to meet a romantic interest or, or friends or family or something along those lines. Uh, Let's see. So this is definitely a time for sevens to splurge. Uh, If you've been overly sort of um, 
I don't know, like kind of uh, rigid or frugal or whatever. This is going to be a time where you are definitely encouraged to um, give yourself permission to splurge a little bit, to, you know, buy yourself something nice, celebrate yourself or, you know, a family member or a loved one or something like that. Uh, this is a, a beautiful time to uh, renovate your home maybe, or do something like that, or to paint the walls, change things up a little bit, right? Like spring cleaning or whatever, but where you're actually also investing in the home in some way, um, planting a garden, flowers, whatever the case may be. So really beautifying your home environment could come in. And I think you'll find that you have the resources to do that uh, with the five and the eight energy at play. So beautiful energy coming in for you all um, under this illumination. And like I said, definitely a lot here around home and relationships. I will say this is a full moon. So there's also the possibility that something will come to a close or be cleared away at this time, but that can also be an experience, right? Where you're able to forgive that, that person, that experience and sort of release that baggage and move on. Um, this could also be again, something like someone coming into the home. So, um, a new baby, new partner, something like that. So that's always possible. So beautiful energy for sevens at this time. Again, home is going to be at the, at the, the forefront and, uh, just don't be afraid to splurge. Just treat yourself or your loved ones, um, in a beautiful way at this time. And I think you'll really enjoy this energy. So take care sevens. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.